La fuerza te está llamando. Déjala entrar. Have been sometimes uh, very few female characters uh, uh, in, in these films. We were very lucky to not only have at the center of the movie Daisy Ridley, who is extraordinary as Ray, but we have, uh, you know, Gwendolyn Christie, we have Carrie Fisher, we have Lupita Nyong'o, uh, we have female stormtroopers and female resistance pilots and, you know, Follow me. She's a young girl trying to find her way, trying to do the right thing, and hoping that there's a better future. And so I think both genders will be able to, to relate to that. Um, but obviously, she's a woman, and that's really, really cool. Who are you? I'm no one. I think it's it's necessary, it's timely, and everybody seems to appreciate it. Everyone seems to be excited by it. People seem to love that there is an unconventional representation of a woman. She's Star Wars' first on-screen female villain. I think it's embracing the world we actually live in, where women are at the foreground, women are just as important and just as interesting as men are. And uh, yeah, the Star Wars universe is catching up to that. And I think it's great because girls and boys alike will have more female um, characters to aspire to and to, to regard highly. <laughs>